Hello there, Startover. Thank you for stopping by. For today, we're going to talk about a topic pretty interesting, and it's about how can we apply design thinking to an organization that's already established. So let's first define what design thinking is all about. Design thinking is a problem-solving approach that involves empathy, creativity, and iteration. So there are certain steps in order to implement it in an organization. We're looking at creating a culture of empathy. You are literally encouraging employees to understand the needs and perspectives of customers, stakeholders, and other team members that they're working with. So the key word here is empathy. And with empathy, you are dealing with the fact that there is a high obligation of building cross-functional teams. So you're bringing together people with different skills and perspectives to collaborate on problem solving. And that brings about the fact that you will have to encourage experimentation iteration because you are brainstorming with a lot of people from different backgrounds. So make sure that you're creating a safe space for failure or the perception of failure and also encouraging teams to test and iterate their ideas. So it should be a judgment-free zone. By doing that, you are igniting the process of a design thinking, so the approach of design thinking. And by then you are adopting a structured process for this type of approach. And I do suggest that you look into double diamond model and also make sure it's integrated into the organization's decision-making process. The keyword here is basically integrative. Everything that you're doing in these steps should be intertwined together. And to make sure that the teams are all in the same page, it is really vital that you provide somehow a training or bring about an expert to help them understand the fundamentals of design thinking. This will allow the employees to have the necessary tools to actually have an effective design thinking process. And of course, nothing is done in one night. No empire is built in one night. So make sure that the team or the cross-functional teams that you're dealing with are using design thinking as part of their daily routine. So make sure that you're incorporating design thinking into the organization's routine, the operations, and it's integrated into the decision-making process of this organization. So if it's something that is not integrative, as I said earlier, there's a low chance of success. So it should be part of the motto, the vision and the mission of the company. Also make sure that you are creating a feedback loop so that you know if something is working or not. And this feedback loop should be in incorporated into the design thinking process. So be open to suggestions, be open to recommendations and maybe even reaction or dislikes. This will definitely improve the companies, products, even in the processes because you're dealing with your employees, with the team, with the stakeholders and everyone that is involved. And of course, nothing is accomplished without measurement. So make sure that you're measuring the results. Do your best to track the success of the design thinking initiatives and use the data to continu continuously improve the process. Of course, the word is here, iteration. So. This is going to be again and again and again. I hope this was useful. This is very quick. I hope this was valuable to you and your team. I wish you a great design thinking session. Bye.